let's find the limit of this expression here as x approaches infinity. Clearly, this is an indeterminate form when a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0. So what is the limit form as x goes to infinity? So this expression here, as x goes to infinity, goes to 1, and the exponent goes to infinity, positive infinity or negative infinity. And that form is considered as the indeterminate form 1 raised to infinity. So what is the strategy in evaluating this uh, indeterminate limit? So the strategy here is uh, to write our function. Okay, so as x approaches infinity, as in this case, we can write our function as e raised to bx times the ln of the base, 1 plus uh, a over x. And how did we arrive to this expression? Keep in mind that this expression here can be written as e raised to ln of 1 plus uh, a over x. Recall that uh, ln and uh, e are inverse of each other. So when you perform ln and afterwards you perform e, then you'll get the original input. Or this also follows from the property e raised to ln x equal to x. So in this case, our x is 1 plus a over x. So when we raise that to bx, we'll get this as an exponent, bx ln of the quantity 1 plus a over x. And what will be the next step? So the next step here is to evaluate the limit of the power. So we find the limit of the power bx ln of 1 plus a over x as x goes to infinity. Because if you have that limit of the form 1 raised to infinity, for sure this one will have the form 0 times infinity. And clearly, this bx here will go to infinity, positive infinity or negative infinity. And this goes to 1, so ln of 1 is equal to 0. So this has the form infinity times 0. Or we write it as 0 times infinity. And to evaluate that limit, again, we can write that in the form either 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So here we can write this limit as limit as x approaches infinity of ln of 1 plus a over x and then all over 1 over bx. And this is equal to, so keep in mind, this is already in the form ln of 1 is 0 over 0. So now we can already apply El Hopital's rule. And we'll get here limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator. So that is 1 over 1 plus a over x. And the derivative of 1 plus a over x is negative a over x squared. And then all over the derivative of 1 over bx is just equal to, that is just 1 over b times 1 over x. So the derivative is just negative 1 over bx squared. So here we can cancel the x squared. So replacing them by 1. And now we can already determine the limit. So a over x goes to 0. So the limit is equal to, in this case, negative a over 1 over negative 1 over b, which is equal to a times b. So since this exponent here approaches a b as x goes to infinity, therefore this limit is equal to a raised to a b. And as you can see here, 
this limit is equal to e raised to a b also when a is equal to zero or b equals zero because when a is zero or b is zero the limit of this one is equal to one next problem so let's evaluate this limit here as x approaches zero from the right so as x approaches zero from the right we know that this tangent x will approach zero and of course the exponent x squared will also approach zero so this has the indeterminate form zero raised to zero and to evaluate such limit we use the same strategy as in the previous problem so here we're going to write this limit in the form so we have here limit of as an exponential function e raised to you have here the exponent ln of the base tangent x and next we find the limit of the power so let's find the limit of uh, x squared and then ln of tangent x as x approaches 0 from the right so what is the limit form here so the x squared goes to 0 and since tangent x actually approaches 0 from the right as x approaches 0 from the right so the ln of a small positive number it is a large negative number so this ln here will go to negative infinity so this is 0 times negative infinity or the limit form is 0 times infinity so we say that that form is of the type 0 times infinity so we can write this limit form again in the form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity by writing this product here as a quotient ln of a tangent x over 1 over x squared and applying El Hopital's rule we'll get here limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the derivative of uh, ln of tangent x so that is 1 over tangent x so that is equal to cotangent x and then times the derivative of tangent x so that is equal to secant squared x and the derivative of our denominator is negative 2 over x cubed so that is just x raised to negative 2 so this is just x raised to negative 2 so the derivative is negative 2 x raised to negative 3 which is negative 2 over x cubed now what is the form of this uh, limit here so again this uh, will go to negative infinity and uh, the numerator here will approach uh, this will approach 1 secant of uh, 0 is equal to 1 but cotangent x will approach uh, infinity because this is uh, cosine x over sine x so the denominator is approaching 0 from the right and the numerator is approaching 1 so it's like 1 over 0 from the right so this cotangent x here will approach infinity this will approach 1 this will approach negative infinity so it has the form infinity over infinity which is an indeterminate form but before you apply El Hopital's rule again so try to simplify your expression if you can simplify it so for example the numerator here so we can write the cotangent x as uh, cosine over sine so cotangent x is cosine over sine and secant squared x is uh, 1 over cosine squared x so we can cancel the cosine x in the numerator and in the denominator and uh, we can write our numerator as uh, in this case uh, 1 over sine x uh, cosine x and then our denominator is uh, negative 2 over x cubed 
and this one here is equal to negative x cubed over 2 sine x cosine x. And actually, we can write the denominator as uh, sine of 2x using uh, double angle identity for sine. So that is the same thing as sine of uh, 2x. So therefore, we have limit as x approaches 0 from the right of negative x cubed over sine of uh, 2x, which is of the form, in this case, this is an indeterminate form 0 over 0. So now by applying El Hopital's rule, so by applying El Hopital's rule here, we'll get limit as x approaches 0 from the right of negative 3x squared over derivative of sine u with respect to x is cosine u times the derivative of u, so that is derivative of 2x, so that is equal to 2. And now we can already evaluate the limit. So the limit of the denominator here is just 2 because cosine of 0 is 1. So this is equal to 2 and then the numerator will approach 0. So the limit is equal to 0. So since this exponent here is approaching 0, then we conclude that the limit is equal to e raised to 0, which is equal to 1. Let's now move to our last problem. So let's evaluate the limit of this expression as x approaches infinity. So clearly, this is an indeterminate form when a is not equal to 0. And what is the form of our limit? So the base here is approaching infinity as x approaches infinity. And the exponent a over x as x approaches infinity is approaching 0. So this has the limit form infinity raised to 0. So we're going to use the same strategy as we used in the previous two problems to evaluate this limit. So here again, we write this as limit as x approaches infinity. So we write it as an exponential function. So you have here e raised to the power a over x and then ln of the base, e raised to x and then plus x. And now we compute for the limit of the power power of e, so limit as x approaches infinity of a ln of e to the x plus x all over x as x approaches infinity. And the form of this limit is as x goes to infinity, so we have here, so non-zero times this goes to infinity, so that is either plus or minus infinity over infinity, so it has the form infinity over infinity. So therefore, we can apply El Hopital's rule to find this limit here. So this is limit as x approaches infinity. So derivative of the numerator is a over e raised to x plus x times the derivative of that e raised to x plus x, which is e raised to x plus 1. And then over the derivative of x, which is uh, equal to 1. So let's uh, simplify that expression so we can write it as limit a times the quantity e raised to x plus 1 all over e raised to x plus uh, x. And uh, clearly, this has uh, the limit form infinity over infinity again. So we can apply again El Hopital's rule and we'll get here limit as x approaches infinity of a times the derivative of e raised to x plus 1 which is e to the x over the derivative of the denominator is just e to the x plus 1. And we can actually 
find the limit uh, algebraically for this uh, function here or we can again apply El Hopital's rule. So this is again in the form infinity over infinity, right? So if you apply El Hopital's rule again, you'll get here limit as x approaches infinity of a e to the x over e to the x. And of course, we can cancel the e to the x here. And clearly, the limit is equal to a. And you can obtain also this limit a here algebraically by dividing the numerator and denominator by e to the x. And clearly, the limit in this case will be a over 1 plus 0, which is equal to a. So since this power here approaches a as x approaches infinity, therefore our limit is e raised to a.